All right, for this last video, I'm going to add a table and an image. So we're going to do a few things that will be uh, fun. We'll take this site and make it look a lot better. Um, so the first thing I wanted to do was put the ingredients side by side with the directions. So that tells me that I need a table that has one, two, two columns. So I'll get that in first. It's going to go after my paragraph of text, but before my ingredients. So I'll put it right here. Remember to start with the table tag. And then let's just shut the door. Let's close that table tag right away. It's going to go at the bottom of everything. And this table has two columns and only one row. So that means it's going to need a TR tag. Let me close it. TR tag. And two table data tags. So those two tags, the table data tags, are going to each represent one column. So the first one will be here, but it will end after the ingredients. And the second one will be right below it. And it will end with the directions. So even though we don't use tables very often, they are so handy. Let me save, and here we are. All right, what are the problems with this? Number one. I would like this column to be wider and this one to be up at the top. So I'm going to give my table a few styles. The first style that I'm going to give it is to tell my TD tags to be vertically aligned to the top of the page. So I'm going to come up here to my styles and add a new style. The selector is going to be TD. Oops. And the direction, the property name, is going to be VAlign. That's vertical align. And I'm going to choose top. So let's save. And you can see right away what that did. That's much nicer, much nicer. Now I'd like for the ingredients to be spread out a little more. So maybe I'll give both of them a width of 50%. WI DTH 50%. Save. Well, that looks a little better, a little better. I'm thinking now uh, this could be 40% and this could be 60. But that would require something really different, wouldn't it? It would require for me to have two different TD directions. Hmm, how am I going to do that? Aha! Do you remember we talked about the ID tag? The class tag and the ID tag. It is in the slideshow, but I'd like to demonstrate it for you. So what I'll do first is I'll go down to, I'll come down to my ingredients TD, and I'll give it an ID. I'll say, this is going to be an attribute because I'm in HTML. So I'll say ID equals, and I'll just name this ingredients. That just makes it easier. So ID equals ingredients. That didn't change anything. It just gave this tag an ID. But up here in Styles, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to type a new selector, which is going to be, let me go below this. Oops, don't want to make a bad mistake here. New selector, which is going to be Pound Ingredients. So what you want to remember with ID is, you define your ID down in the HTML, and then you refer to it up here in the CSS. So I'm just going to say, for ingredients, make that width uh, 40%. Yeah, I think that works better. So you've got 40% over here for this, 
and the rest for that. Let's do just a few other things. Let's give the whole thing a background color and let's uh, put the image in. So the image tag I think should go above direction so that these two heads are not budding, right? They're not side by side. Uh, H1 chocolate cake. This is going to go above the directions but inside the TD. So this will be my image tag. I'm going to go to my assets, images, and choose the cake. Let's be sure to get outside of those quote marks before we add the alt tag. Picture of chocolate cake. And then let's close that tag. I have no idea what size it is, but we're about to find out. Oh, it's not a bad size. It works out. I could make it a tad smaller so that these two columns are a little bit more equal. So I'll say, it looks like it's about width, I don't know, 500 pixels. Why don't I say width 200? Uh, 250 maybe. Save. Well, now they're very even, but I think that's a little bit tiny. Why don't I make it 300 just to be... Ooh, 3,000, no thanks. There we go. Now let's give the body a background color. Up here in the body, look at all these styles. Up here in the body, I'm going to type background color. And I remember FCC, save. Hey, this is looking pretty good. I mean, it's a very quick and dirty website, right? But just from the few things you've learned, you've gotten a lot done. Good job. Good job. You're hired.